Hello and welcome to the homework video for third grade for Friday, April the 24th. Uh, this is going to cover the homework from our uh, lesson working with perimeters. So let's go ahead and take a look at our problems. Uh, one of the things that I meant to do uh, before I ended, um, but I didn't do because uh, it was just going to go ahead and give the answer, was to uh, talk about the measurements. So if you do not have the um, ruler to be able to do this, what we were looking at was five for the longest length and then four for the next longest length, then two, and then we have two sections that are worth one centimeter. If we add all of those together, we would get 13. Um, number four, we could do this one without a ruler. So if we make a shape that has six sides, we might get something that looks a little bit like this and then we have three on each edge and that would give us a perimeter of 18. So number five here says draw two different figures that each have a perimeter of 20 units. So in the lesson video right at the very end I was saying that one of the things that we may have to do is draw two different shapes that each have the same perimeter but have a different area. Um, so that is a common thing. Um, for this one, we could say that we have two uh, inches here, one inch here, so both of these sides would be worth two, two, four, five, six would be the perimeter, and then this one we could say that all four of these are two inches. Now I'm zoomed in considerably farther, um, so if you're like trying to hold a ruler up to your screen right now, that may not work, um, but yeah, in the book um, it suggests that these are all two inch sides. So. One of the extra ones um, that I was going to talk about for the homework part is this one. So we don't have an even shape. We have a little bit of a tail here um, with this part. So I would always recommend choose the same spot to start from counting and just work your way around. So if I start here, that's going to give me 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, this part for 18, this part for 19, and this side for 20. Um, I don't believe I asked you guys to work that one, but that kind of thing can be very helpful uh, for practicing. So what I would suggest, if you want extra practice on this, is just make a normal shape. So you could make a rectangle, you could make a square, you could even try to make something that looks like this, and then try to measure. So if you use a ruler as you're doing this, it'll help you make uh, straight lines, but it will also help you uh, find your starting measurements, and then you can go ahead and kind of experiment and see what you come up with. So ideally, if we're working with a rectangle, we're going to have matching sides um, for the opposite ends of the shape. And then we're going to have a difference in the length of the top and the bottom compared to the left and the right. If you're working with squares, we're going to have everything the same length. So um, we could do triangles, we could do pentagons, hexagons. It's very common on the state test to have um, a variety of different shapes that they ask you to find the uh, perimeter for. Um, and then for area, they would ask us to find the uh, area of like a rectangle or a square. So hopefully that helps for you. Um, I would suggest going ahead and uh, playing with that a little bit. If you guys want extra practice, I can give you some extra resources for that. But um, that covers this part. We'll spend a lot of time next week working with uh, finding the area, um, which we can use the perimeter to help us find um, the outside edge but then we have to do something a little bit different to find the inside. So we'll talk about that next week. So hope you have a great weekend and I will see you on Monday.